G'day there. Now, I realize that most of the videos that I share on YouTube of my landscape photography tend to be down south. But for this video, I thought I'd try something different and drive north. So I've come about an hour and a half up the west coast to a little quiet beach town called Lancelin. Just outside the town, there's the Lancelin sand dunes. And I'm here to explore the area to see whether I can grab a different landscape image. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a website, a domain, or an online store, do what I did and make your next move with Squarespace. So I've been to Lancelin a few times, but not really come out to the sand dunes here. So I'm really looking forward to this. I've pretty much spent the day exploring the hills in between the sand dunes here, trying to work out what would make a decent image. So at the beginning of the day, I thought I was gonna have a few clouds, but they seem to have burned off during the day. And I've got the sun reasonably high still in the sky. It's around about 4, 4.30. Uh, so the sunset's not going to be until about 6.30. On top of that, I've got this constant wind that's kicking up the sand. It's stinging my legs and, and arms. And it's getting into all my camera gear and vlogging gear. So the conditions obviously aren't ideal. So I'm having to take that all into account when trying to work out what sort of image I'm going to take. Unfortunately, the wind's just picked up a little bit, um, but that's kind of expected here in WA. The further we get into the afternoon, usually the, the wind does get a little bit stronger. And we're right up against the coast, so no surprises. So the sun's starting to get lower in the sky and it means that the shadows are starting to get a little bit longer. And I think that's gonna be an ideal time to take a shot. Pretty much what I'm looking for is a nice, simple lines that'll lead the viewer's eye into the image. And I'm probably looking for contrast and textures in the sand, in the ripples of the sand, and even in the sand itself. I think those elements together will make a pretty strong image. If we're lucky, we might get a little bit of cloud in the sky hanging around. And if that's the case, we could get a bit of color reflected from the sunset, and that'll be ideal as well. But I'm not holding out my hopes there. Anyway, I'm going to get set up for a shot and uh, once I do, I'll talk you through it. Now I've got to the top of this massive sand dune. The wind is just ripping past, so I'm really, really hoping you can pick me up here. So I found a location where the line of the ridge at the top of the dune is coming in from the left-hand side. It's curving around to the right and then back around to the left up to the top of the sand dune. Now to capture all of that, I put the camera into portrait mode. So the first shot, I'm not gonna have any filters or polarizers. It's just the lens itself. Now, unfortunately, the wind is so strong that as it rips across the top of the ridge, it breaks the, the ridge sometimes and the sand falls down on the left side of the sand dune, which 
which kind of messes up the ripples in the sand a little bit, but I'm gonna continue going because I can't control that. As you can probably tell, I'm being blown around here. So to help the tripod and the camera be a little bit more stable, what I've done is I've hung the bag from this little clip at the bottom here to give it just that little bit more weight. Uh, in these sort of conditions, it's always good to have that extra weight in the center of the tripod just to hold things down, make things just that little bit more sturdy. Wow. So I've got quite a bit of the foreground as well as the background in focus. So to try and get that in pretty much one shot, I've got my f-stop at 16 and ISO 100. So that gives me a shutter speed of 1 250th of a second. There's lots of light here. So I'm going to take that shot and have a look at it in camera. Right, with that shot taken, I'm moving on. I can see another peak along this ridge, so I'm going to have a bit of an explore to see whether I can find a spot where, again, I'm looking at leading lines, simple lines, and if I can get some texture drawn out of the sand and the ripples, particularly with the sun, which is now lower in the sky, the the shadows are, are a little bit more drawn out, a little bit more pronounced, so that's the sort of thing I'm going for. Let's see how I go. I found a composition, and this time it's even more simplified. I've pretty much got two ridges, one in the foreground that's bending from the left around to the middle, and then in the distance I've got another ridge that's coming from the middle off to the left hand side, which is kind of giving me a little bit of an S curve, which is quite nice. You can probably hear the wind and how strong it is, and it's really kicking up the sand. The sand's being blown off the edge of the ridge, and it catches some of the sunlight, and the sun's over on my right hand side. So to try and capture some of that sand, I figured I'm going to slow down the shutter speed. So to do that, I've got the Lee Little Stopper again on the front of the lens, and my f-stop is at 14. So together, that allows me to bring the shutter speed down to one second. Let's see what that shot looks like. done is I've taken out the little stopper and replaced it with the big stopper. That's a 10 stop neutral density filter. That allows me to bring the shutter speed down without changing any of the other settings. So I'm still on f14 and ISO 100. The shutter speed is somewhere between 10 and 15 seconds. So I'm just going to play around with those times and see what sort of result I can get. Unfortunately, the clouds didn't hang around and so I'm not going to get that evening light. It's a beautiful location here and, uh, and I'm really happy that I've come up for a bit of an explore. It's definitely a location that I'll come back to again. I thought I was done, but in actual fact I wasn't because I got back close to the car and there's this gorgeous snaking ridge up to another sand dune. So I've set myself up and I'm going to have a lot of foreground in my image. In fact, it's going to be quite close to the camera as well as the peak off in the distance. So I'm not going to be able to capture it with one shot. 
So I've reduced my F stop down to eight, which gives me a shutter speed of 20, although the light is disappearing quite quickly. I'm still on ISO 100. So what I've done is I've moved my focus point quite close to the bottom of the image. It's only around about one to one and a half meters into the image. I've taken that shot. I've then moved the focus point up into the middle of the shot. Again, just on that S curve to take another shot. Then I've moved it all the way to the top of the sand dune in the background and taken my third shot. And what I'll do is I'll merge those images with different focal planes together as the one image. That allows me to get a really sharp image from the foreground right to the background by focus stacking those images. Let's see how it turns out. A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a website or you're looking upgrading your existing website, then definitely check out Squarespace. They're a brilliant company. Their platform's so easy to use. Setting up a website through Squarespace is such a simple thing to do. If you do have an issue, you can always turn to their 24 seven award-winning customer service. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, which lasts a month. So if you're happy with it and you wanna go ahead with a subscription, then go to squarespace.com forward slash Andrew Marr for 10% of your first purchase. If you enjoyed this content, then you know what to do. Let me know by giving it a like, share it with your friends, and give me your feedback in the comments below. If it's your first time here and you wanna see more of my landscape photography, then please consider subscribing. And if you do, make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload my next video. But until then guys, thanks very much for watching.